Welcome to Standard Institute HVAC channel. This channel is totally dedicated for all together information on HVAC heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems. It's my first video. My only concentration in this particular video is to let every one of you understand the concept of refrigeration cycle. Why it is important? If you are having a thorough knowledge on this refrigeration cycle, then easily you can understand each and every HVAC systems which are used in HVAC industries and in from a very basic uh, building to a high rise building. I mean to say you all that this refrigeration cycle is common from split AC to multi split AC, package AC, VRF, VRV systems, chiller plants or even your district cooling plants. In each and every system you will find this refrigeration cycle. What I mean to say is every single HVAC system works on refrigeration cycle. If you want to get a grip over all the HVAC systems, you must have a thorough knowledge and a complete grip over this particular refrigeration cycle. Okay, so HVAC, the very first thing which comes in mind, why, what this system is. Why this system came into existence? What is the need of this system? First thing that has to be kept in the mind. That, that question should arise in our mind. Basically, HVAC system came for our human comfort that is to improve indoor air quality, IAQ. To improve indoor air quality. Next question comes in mind. Why to improve indoor air quality? How come we can improve the indoor air quality? Three factors are important to control our indoor air quality in HVAC systems. The factor number one is temperature control. is humidity control and the last one is concept of fresh air within a room the air which is surrounded within our room that air quality if you want to improve that then you have to get a grip over these three things that is First, you have to carry out a temperature control of the air within a room. Next, you have to maintain a proper humidity within a room. Not you, means the machine, whatever you are installing. Maybe a split AC, packet AC, whatever you are carrying out. Then, the next thing, you have to provide pressure. That's the reason why HVAC systems came into the market. To give us human comfort. Human comfort comes with controlling of all the factors. So to carry out that particular thing, this particular cycle is, has came into existence. Okay, let's come to our cycle. I will explain you these three things concept in our coming videos. All these three things I'll explain you for sure in detail. As of now, because before starting a refrigeration cycle, you must have an idea of what is indoor air quality, how to control it. That is the reason why we are installing these systems. Okay. Fine, let's come to our refrigeration cycle. I told you what every single system in HVAC works on this cycle. If you are thorough with this cycle, you will have a grip over all the HVAC systems. Okay, so refrigeration cycle consists of four major components compressor, condenser, expansion valve, evaporator. Within this cycle, the heart of this particular system, heart of HVAC system is your compressor. Your compressor is heart of your HVAC systems. 
the QAC system. Why? As in why we are specifying it as heart of your system. Because in our body, heart sucks the blood, compresses the blood, and discharges the blood. In the same pattern, in the same manner, compressor sucks the refrigerant, compresses the refrigerant, and discharges the refrigerant to the whole system. Who is doing that? Compressor is doing that. It does three things. Compressor does three things: suction, compression, discharge of your refrigerant. Refrigerant is a liquid with which we can carry out heat exchange and maintain a required temperature of our room. So I'll start with compressor to explain you all about refrigeration cycle. Okay, compressor what it does? It sucks the refrigerant. Next, it compresses the refrigerant and discharges the refrigerant. While sucking the Temp the refrigerant which is coming from the evaporator is being sucked by the compressor at low temperature and low pressure. As we all know, whenever you are compressing a particular gas, what happens? Not just it pressure increases individually, it temperature also increases. So what is what we are doing first? Compressor is sucking the refrigerant and it is compressing it. Why it is compressing it? To get the pressure. Why the pressure is required? Such that the refrigerant should flow in the total system with a given pressure. Okay. So suction, compression, and discharge. At the inlet of compressor, we are getting condensate vapor at low temperature, low pressure. This condensate vapor is been compressed by compressor and it is been discharged. As I told you, whenever you are compressing a condensate gas, what will happen? Not just, not just its temperature increases, ultimately its pressure also. Not just its pressure increases, ultimately its temperature also increases. So, at the output of our compressor, we are getting a high temperature, high pressure vapor refrigerant. This has been given to set of cooling coils. Set of cooling coil which we name it as condenser. When we are talking about condenser, condenser of two types, it can be of air cooled, it can be of water cooled, two types of compression, condensers, air cooled condensers and water cooled condensers. Which is, and within this cycle, you will be getting heat exchanging coils in two particular components. One is in condenser, one is in evaporator. In condenser and in evaporator, we will see heat exchanging coils. Understand? So fine. So even we will be getting blower, fan, blower, fan, filter, filter. What happens here? From the output of the compressor, we got high temperature, high pressure, vapor refrigerant. This vapor refrigerant came into condenser. Condenser has a blower. Okay, blower and set of cooling coils, what will happen? Condenser, condenser rejects the heat, rejects the heat, which is heat of the refrigerant, which is coming from the compressor to the atmosphere. Because atmospheric temperature is a lower temperature and the refrigerant which is residing within the heat exchanging coil has a high temperature. So as we all know, heat exchanges from high temperature body to low temperature body. As the heat, it rejects the heat to the atmosphere, this particular condenser will, what will happen? It will condense, will get from vapor, it will be converted into a condensed liquid. Why? It has rejected the heat. Whenever a refrigerant rejects the heat into the atmosphere, ultimately it converts from vapor refrigerant to condensed liquid. This condensed liquid, which is of medium temperature, high pressure, is being given to expansion valve. This expansion valve will reduce the pressure of the refrigerant, which is coming at a high pressure from the condenser. As the pressure of the refrigerant decreases due to the expansion valve, ultimately what will happen? The condensed liquid will convert to low pressure, low temperature liquid. So, at this particular point, you are getting a liquid refrigerant approximately a temperature at a temperature of 5 degrees Celsius or 6 degrees Celsius. Liquid state. 
from this particular point, from the expansion valve, it is being given to evaporator. Evaporator is nothing but you can even name it as evaporator as your IDU. If you as I I'll make it more clear, this particular section, let's this particular section. will come within your outdoor unit if you are carrying out as per split AC. This is your outdoor unit. You will find this components. Means, onto the outdoor of your split AC, you will be finding expansion valve, you will be finding compressor, you will be finding condenser. These three things should be compacted into the ODU outdoor unit. And within your room, in your IDU, you will be getting this particular thing. It's your IDU. This is your indoor unit I D U indoor unit. This is your outdoor unit. Right. In your indoor unit, that means in your room, you will be finding a particular blower, a particular heat exchanging coil with a filter. Fine, we'll be seeing now an IDU of a split AC. Let's take an example so that we can easily understand this side. Okay. Fine. So here in your evaporator, you will find a heating coil, a blower fan with a filter. What happens over here? This low temperature, low pressure liquid as it, it enters into this coil, what will happen? Room rejects its heat to the coil. Our room rejects it heat its heat to the coil. Why it is rejecting the heat? Our particular coil is a low temperature coil. When compared with to the room, room temperature is more and the coil temperature is less, what happens? Room will give away its heat to the coil. And the coil, what it has? It has liquid refrigerant. Okay. What will happen? This liquid refrigerant converts to condensate vapor due to the heat rejected by the room to your coil. That's the reason why it is said to be heating coil as it takes the room heat. It is said to be cooling coil as it rejects the heat to atmosphere. Hope you are getting this particular session. Okay, so in our IDU, indoor unit, we will be what things we will be finding in our ID, in our indoor unit. In our indoor unit, we will be finding a heat exchanging coil, a blower or fan, a filter. These two pipes will be finding one pipe will be thick, one pipe will be thin. Thick pipe for gas, for condensed gas outlet. Thick pipe for refrigerant, liquid refrigerant. And even one more pipe will be finding, which is nothing but your drain pipe. You will be finding a drain pipe in your IDU of a split unit. Split AC. Understand? Within your IDU, indoor unit, you will find evaporator. Evaporator is nothing else. That is even you can name it as evaporator unit that comprises of Heat exchanging coil, blower, filter, with inlet refrigerant pipe, which will be thin because it contains liquid refrigerant, and the outlet that is inlet is coming from expansion valve to evaporator, expansion valve to evaporator, outlet pipe will be thick because it comprises of condensed vapor, which will be given to compressor. Hope you understood this particular session. More further session, more further videos I'll keep on uploading to you all such that you all can get grip over, over this particular HVAC system. So, as of now, I'm signing out and please do subscribe this particular YouTube channel such that in your near future you can see more number of videos and can get more knowledge. Thanking you all. I am here. I'm a message signing it out. Okay.